what is istikhara? It's a salat, it's a sunnah. If and when you are confused, you don't know what to do, what to decide, and you have multiple choices, either suppose you have been offered three jobs, and you have been interviewed by three of them, and three of them offered you a job, and you are confused, which one you accept? You don't know. You analyze, all of them are excellent, but still you are confused. The recommendation of our Prophet, peace be upon him, is that go and make Salat Istikhara. Two rikah. The intention is, I am confused, Ya Allah, please Allah guide me to select the best. And you can pray at any time, 24 hours, the doors of heaven are open and the dua prayer supplication will be accepted. Suppose you are going to get married and you have a choice of one or the other, the same thing. Go and make Salat al-Istikhara and pray to Allah to choose the right person as a future spouse for you. Whether you are a girl or a man, and do the same thing. It applies to both men and women. Therefore, Salat al-Istikhara is minimum two rika and maximum twelve rika. Now still, people ask, suppose I pray Salat al-Istikhara, how do I know that I select the right? Would I be able to see in a dream something that God will tell me to select? Or what? I said, you may not see a dream at all, and you may see a dream, so what? But at least your intention, your heart, will be inclined toward one against the other. And you feel yourself attached to one or the other. But still, if you did not have that type of feeling, our recommendation to you on behalf of Rasulullah is to make it three consecutive days, the first time, the second time, the third time. Minimum two rika, maximum twelve rika. But my recommendation, although the doors of heaven are open 24 hours, but the best time you pray Salat Istikhara or any other of these Salawah is to wake up after midnight and before Fajr, one hour before Fajr, which is called Sahar or Sahari time, that is the Sahari time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exalts himself. Allah Azza wa Jal يَتَجَلَّ عَلَىٰ عِبَادِي فِي الصِّلَةِ الْأَخِيرِ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ وَيَقُولْ يَا عِبَادِي هَلْ مِنْ سَائِلٍ فَأَعْطِيهِ هَلْ مِنْ مَرِيدٍ فَأَشْفِيهِ And it goes on and on and on. So the time of Sahari, one hour before dawn, is to wake up and make maximum 12 rik'ah. And pray to Allah with the intention, Ya Allah, I'm confused, show me the better alternative for me. Honest to God, Allah will never ever let you down. My recommendation also, that when you are going to pray 12 rak'ah, after every two rak'ah, relax, and then make istighfar, astaghfirullah al-azim wa atubu ilayhi. I seek refuge in Allah, I ask Allah forgiveness, and I make a tawbah, I repent to Allah. And you have to say it many times. Then you say, Ayat Karima, which most of those who came from the subcontinent, they call it Ayat Karima. That is the dua of Prophet Yunus salam, when he was engulfed in the tummy of the whale. He cried to Allah and he said, La ilaha illa an subhanaka inni kuntu min al -dalimin. And then Allah has told him in Surah Al-Anbiya, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَنِّ وَكَذَلِكَ أَنْجُ الْمُؤْمِنِ Allah listened to him. He executed for him his crying voice and he saved him. And accordingly, Allah says in the other ayah, وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ That yes, indeed, Allah is going to save anybody who is in trouble. Nevertheless, my recommendation after you say, أَسْتَغْفِرُ azim wa أَتُوبُ لَيْهِ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا سُبْحَانَكَ أَنِّي كُنْتُ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ And then you be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you make this three times, Every day after midnight before Fajr, honest to God, 
Allah will never let you down, but He will let you choose the right one. Still people ask, are you sure that I will see a dream or I, my heart will be inclined? I said, don't worry. Dream or no dream, internally you are going to be inclined toward one or other. And what's more, suppose you are planning to go to one job, and you have three jobs, and you have flat tire, what does it mean? means no, don't go to it. Or, they postponed it or they delayed the interview. means it's not the job for you. So, Salat al-Istikhara, you request Allah, Ya Allah, I love you, I respect you, I obey you, and I'm an obedient servant to you. I'm coming to you, requesting you to guide me which route I should go. Much more, you may be confused whether you should stay in America or go to any country in the world. What should you do, you don't know. Confused, confused. All of us get confused. Therefore, kindly, why don't you make Salat al-Istikhara and plead your case to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never ever Allah will let you down. And I hope and I pray those who are listening to me, please make sure, get in touch with Allah completely and be honest and sincere when you talk to Him. But let me warn you, if and when Allah has guided you one way, never ever play the game and choose the other one. Otherwise you are a criminal in the book of Allah and Allah will, in the future will penalize you. Allah is not a gimmick. He is a, great, he is a creator for all of us and He is helping us and we are seeking His advice. Is it because seeking His advice free of charge? I don't want to execute what He inspired me. We have to be honest and sincere when we are requesting Allah to guide us to the better way. I hope and I pray that each and every one, when you are confused, go and make Salat Istikhara and plead your case to Allah to guide you to the best. And by the way, I have given this Salat to many friends and really it worked perfect. I did it many times, it worked perfect. Why not you? Some might be interested about the dua itself directly as it is being prescribed by the Prophet. So if you are interested, in my book here, Khutab from Mihrab, there is a special series of Salat. One of them is Salat al-Istikhara. And I have written also the dua as is in Arabic, translated in English. So as people, if they are interested to read it as is, well and good. But nevertheless, the issue is between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have. Even the dua is here, but nevertheless our Prophet then ended up that you have to speak to Allah on your particular case in order that Allah will answer you, inshaAllah.